Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Saturday, February 10th, 2024. We are back with our college basketball best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post college basketball videos every single day, along with the NFL, NBA, and NHL. We're also going to have big winners in college football and the MLB. We're going after our first 15,000 subscribers, so I'm really excited to have y'all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, we had a winning day units-wise. We had our members' only best bet was Nevada minus 2.5. What a sweaty winner. I mean, holy shit, what a sweaty winner, but a winner. And then Dayton money line minus 122. They blew it against VCU. They had every chance to win that game and just did not do it. Overall for the year, 158, 138. Members only has been cleaning up those, so units-wise, we're a hell of a lot better than the record. Um, and we have, we have we have a huge day of college basketball. I fucking love this slate so much. We have nine plays day in college basketball. Five of those I'm going to give you guys here on YouTube here today. We have four members only plays in college basketball, along with the members only play in the NBA. And our plays for the Super Bowl are already in our are already out for our members. Um, and I absolutely love the Super Bowl plays that we have for our members only. Plus, our, our free plays are going to be awesome too. But the members only, I am fucking hammering. And you can get all of these at zdmbets.com slash picks. As a member, get all our members only plays every single day, which are the most profitable best bets on a day-to-day -day basis. On top of that, you have a direct line to me. So any game you're considering betting, reach out to our hotline number, get a guaranteed response back about any game you're considering betting. Any you have free picks do on YouTube, send to you for these videos come out. That would take advantage of early lines, early odds. Get on the website zdmbest.com slash picks, zdmbest.com slash picks, zdmbest.com slash picks. So let's get into the plays we have today. I'm going to start with our first play, which would be Baylor, plus six and a half versus Kansas. Kansas is coming off an emotional loss. They've been stewing on this game for five days. They, they lost to Kansas State in Kansas, in Kansas State. And by the way, Kansas State got every single call. Like, I, I, that, that's without question. And Baylor has trouble closing out games. But as a dog, I don't think they're going to – I don't think this will be as big of a problem. And when you look at this team, they had real trouble. Kansas had real trouble with Tyler Perry. They had real trouble with these guys at Kansas State, these athletic players. And Baylor is more athletic than Kansas State. Ray J. Dennis could be a huge problem. I don't, I don't see – where the guards of Kansas are going to be able to guard him. Same with Langston Love, who's a very experienced guard. And we look at a Baylor team that's going into an environment like Kansas. You need a team that – you need a guard a guard duo that can withstand the pressure. Both these guys can. Plus, Baylor has the size to match up with Kansas, Hunter Dickinson. I'm rolling Baylor here plus six and a half versus Kansas. I think this game goes down to the wire. I have no clue who wins, but I think Baylor's going to cover the six and a half. Next, we're going to go Colorado money line minus 110 versus Arizona. Arizona is off a three overtime win, and they now have to travel on the road to Colorado. And we look at the elevation. The Colorado's at home. Eddie Lampkin's a great inside defender, which is big against Balo. And De Silva can cause some serious matchup problems and really bother Larson. And also, I just think the defensive guards of Colorado will be able to match up all right with Caleb Love. I think Colorado goes in there and wins a very tough home game against Arizona. I think Arizona's going to just be too emotionally drained after a triple overtime win and cover, by the way, against Utah. We had Arizona minus five and a half in that game, and they covered. Um, and then, so I think Colorado wins this game off an emotional letdown for Arizona. Next, we go Auburn money line minus one twenty two versus Florida. This is chalk. This is straight chalk. But I seriously don't give a fuck. Like the fact is, Auburn. This Auburn team is a real deal. There's certain teams, even if it's chalky, it's the right play. And Auburn is one of these teams. Plus, Florida is a bunch of pretenders, both in football and basketball. They aren't just bad. The football there is terrible. But basketball, I think they're a little bit of fool's gold. Auburn has great guards. That's big, obviously, when you go on the road. And they have explosiveness in the front court. My Lord. I just don't see Florida being able to deal with the athleticism. Bruce Pearl is a fantastic coach. He's going to have the boys ready to go. I'm rolling with Auburn here. Off a big win against Alabama to go in there and beat Florida. Next, we go Xavier. Money line minus 122 versus Creighton. The sharp money here is heavy on Xavier. They're good at home. Creighton has had trouble against Big East opponents on the road. But also, the last time these two teams played, Xavier should have beat them on the road. They should have beat them in Creighton. And the fact is, is that they, Creighton figured it out. They, they got, they, Trey Alexander caught fire at the end. But 
this Xavier team matches up very, very well with Creighton. I think they're going to be able to. I think they're able to bother Kalkbrenner. They have the bodies to throw at Trey Alexander, and I, I just like the Xavier team at least today. I love them in general, but I like them today uh, versus Creighton. Plus, I'd give Sean Miller the coaching advantage here, and they're at home. This is the biggest game of their season. And then I'm going to go TCU plus six and a half versus Iowa State. The sharp money here is heavy on TCU. And I don't like that Iowa. I don't like Iowa State's play style. I think they play too slow. They have good defense, but TCU. The last time they played them, they, they had they had the game in hand. They just couldn't finish it out. And TCU will bounce back and keep it tight. And they had a horrible first half last time they played Iowa State. But I don't see them completely shitting the bed like they did early on. I think if they just, if they play like they did in the second half, they win this game outright and they win it kind of handily. I'm old TCU here plus six and a half for Iowa State. And like I said, we do have four members only plays in college basketball. You can get this at zdmbets.com slash picks. The website is linked in the comments below. Along with our Super Bowl picks, those are also live. Again, the website is linked in the comments below. But a quick recap we have on YouTube. We have Baylor plus six and a half. Colorado money line minus 110 versus Arizona. Auburn money line minus 122 versus Florida. Xavier money line versus Creighton at minus 122. And uh, TCU plus six and a half versus Iowa State. So, so locking those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure to deserve our videos.